We're on a quest for a peanut butter chocolate bar. Hey, it's Brian Lake back with another review you can use. And today we have a live taste test for a Quest Bar. This is a, a new brand for me to try. Uh, this is their peanut butter, uh, chocolate peanut butter bar, chocolate flavored. Um, it has, so we like, it's like, we like to go down one gram of sugar, but it does have five sugar alcohols, 20 grams of protein, 14 grams of dietary fiber. So there's your, your total carbohydrates are 23. Uh, 170 calories in this bar. Um, I believe it's gluten-free, it is, and it does not say, it does have soluble corn fiber, peanuts, so protein blend is milk uh, protein isolate, whey protein isolate, so no soy protein in here, and it does, it is sweetened with stevia, so there you go, and um, so that's a good ratio. Um, essentially one gram, I mean that's 20 to 1, Unless you, even if you include the sugar alcohol, you're getting 3 to 1, a little bit better than 3 to 1. So we'll say, it, it does feel dense and it's a lot of fiber there, so I wouldn't be surprised if it is quite dense. Uh, it has got some impactful, wow, it does smell chocolatey with some, just a hint of peanuts it looks like. It does say it has peanuts in it, and you can smell the peanuts and the chocolate. Oh, wow. Wow. I might keep all that in. Um, <laughs> taste, let's start with taste. It starts off well, but it ends real aspartame to me. It might be the sugar alcohols or the corn start, the corn fiber. It is very dense. So if you want something, you're on a long hike and you need something that's really dense, this is probably going to be the thing you want to pack. I would want to keep them out of the sun. I mean, these things tend to sometimes melt. It is, it, it's dry, but it's not, it's kind of semi-chalky. It's not bad. It starts off well, but the aftertaste is mediocre. I mean, this is like a, starts off like an eight flavor, nice chocolate, nice peanut butter, and it ends up like at a six. Because um, the texture is kind of somewhat gritty but it's very, and this might be, you know, it's very dense. Now, it's not high in calorie. It's only 170 calories. So for the density is mostly the fiber. I mean, what does it say? 20? Yeah, 14 grams of fiber in this thing. The whole bar is only 60 grams. So almost a third, or I guess a fourth, a fourth of this bar is the fiber. Right, 15 times 4 is 60, and it's almost, it's 14. So almost a fourth. That is very dense. Um, but, and the, and the aftertaste is not that great. So the chocolate and peanut butter flavor is there. It's not overpowering. It's just kind of there. And then it fades, and it's gone. And you get this, to me, it just feels like stuff I've had with aspartame in it. I know it has, has stevia. I'm not a huge fan of stevia either, so that must stevia or whatever, that might be part of what I'm picking up. But <clears throat> this is in the try it yourself. I, I mean, I'm not going to recommend this bar, um, but if your needs are for more fiber, uh, let's put it this way. If you're looking for a protein source, uh, to get in between meals or something, this might be a good bar for you if you, if you like the flavor. But again, the flavor I'm giving a 7 overall. Um, if you need some serious dietary fiber and you're sick of eating fiber tablets or salads or whatever, this might be a nice little switch up for you because uh, it is very dense in that regard, but low cal. So that's good. Yeah, it'll help you lose weight as well. So you get the, all that fiber plus not a whole lot of calories. 
one gram of sugar so in the sugar department it is definitely a recommend um, considering gluten-free high in fiber low sugar high protein yeah seven seven and a half seems fair but again that texture is kind of weird and that aftertaste is just kind of turns off to me so that's why I said this is not a recommend for me but you know get one yourself and try it and you might think I'm just full of crap uh, or you might say yeah that stuff's horrible and I mean I've had a far worse bars um, the power bars back in the 90s were just god awful um, and so this is a lot better I've had worse gluten free bars I've had worse bars that were high in fiber so that's why it's kind of middle of the road to me it's not great but it's not you know chuck it and I'm gonna just you know once I'm done with you I'm just gonna toss this in the trash I mean I'll finish this off uh, definitely have it with a quite, quite a bit of water because it is quite dense it's gonna dry you out so there we go and, and I'll probably try some of their other protein bars as well some flavors and things uh, so, all right so there you go I'm giving it a seven and it's a you know try it if you want kind of recommendation all right Thank you very much for stopping by, thanks for playing my videos, and thanks for sharing them. And let me know what you want to see reviewed here. Thank you. Bye. Lay down. Go lay down. There's nothing in there. Go. We'll play in a minute. Go lay down. Why are you panting? We were playing for half an hour already. <laughs>